Hey what's going on it's Wes and I've been using this iPad for quite a while now and I want to share my thoughts to you if the iPad is enough for every student's needs or should you still buy a laptop. Let's find out. So let's start with the note taking features that an iPad has. Now we all know that iPad has two different solutions when it comes to note taking. The first one is regular typing and the second one is the handwritten feature. Now you might want to consider an iPad if you are a math student where you need to have a handwriting feature because writing equations with a keyboard is kind of a hassle. So if you are a math student, you should probably buy an iPad if you have the money. Or even if you're not a math student, maybe you're a student that you have to draw a lot of things or some things that can't be dealt with a keyboard, then the iPad is probably for you. But if I'm gonna be honest, the iPad is just an optional gadget for you because if you need to write equations if you're a math student like me you can just have or buy a separate physical notebook and pen that you can use and if you want to share them digitally you can just take a photo of them scan them with adobe scan or microsoft lens and there you go you don't need to spend a fortune to write something because if you want to really utilize the note-taking functionality of an iPad you need to buy an Apple Pencil the note-taking apps that you're gonna use and buying a separate keyboard if you want to use a keyboard for note-taking if you don't want to buy those things separately just buy a laptop it's an all-in-one package the next one is the file management now in this kind of section the <laughs> The laptop is just plainly better when it comes to file management. And yes, you can do the basic things for a file on an iPad like dragging and drop files, copying and pasting them, and so on and so forth. But plainly when it comes to just being better, being easier to use, especially if you have a lot of PowerPoint presentations, documents, PDF files, you should just stay with a laptop. Even though iPad OS 15 brings a feature that you can insert a file on the home screen it is still somewhat limited so yeah now let's go to the multitasking the ipad supports multitasking you can slide over apps you can show two apps at the same time you can even show three of them but the problem here is that if you're gonna buy an ipad and that ipad has just you know three gigs of ram or two gigs of ram which is the only option if you're on a budget then it is gonna be a hassle for you because whenever you want to multitask putting two apps on a single screen you can do that but when you do the slide over with the two apps pinned on the screen the two apps behind the slide over won't even work unless you remove the slide over or if you're just having a single app on a screen and a slide over then you can use both of them at the same time unless you have a higher end iPad which is a lot more expensive but if you're on a budget the laptop is going to be the best option for you because there are a lot of cheaper laptops out there that can handle pretty much a lot of different kinds of multitasking that you can put into that display. Now the last one is the portability. Now I have to include this because if I don't, the iPad is going to be roasted. But the portability of this iPad is going to be the winner here because you don't have a physical keyboard to deal with when it comes to carrying the iPad anywhere whether you want to work or study on the table or on your bed you can bring your iPad always and it's not going to be a hassle for you unless if you have the fortune to buy an expensive laptop that is thin and light because there are a lot of laptops on the higher side of the market that are thin and light but if you're on a budget and you want to have the best portability possible that you can get on a gadget. The iPad is probably for you. So, should you still buy an iPad? I didn't include the media consumption that you can get with an iPad like watching videos, playing games because that's not a student is supposed to prioritize when it comes to learning but when it comes to educational purposes only the iPad is not gonna be a choice that you should get so when it comes to studying the iPad is not that encouraging but when it comes to playing games watching videos it is very very encouraging now don't get me wrong the iPad is still very useful if you're on a budget and because generally iPads are cheaper than any other laptops if you're in a budget and if your workflow is for creative purposes like drawing and other kinds of stuffs but that's still the minority 
and a lot of you watching this video are mostly not that kind of student and I'm not being rude to iPads you can still do a lot from them it's just that there's just something better out there so if you like this video give it a like if I don't want it you can also do the other thing subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first one to see future videos like this have a great day